Hey guys, it's Roxanne again. Um, we are going to mix some crepe pool. I've heard some people ask how, and it's kind of difficult to explain. Um, and it's definitely one of those things that you don't get until you do it with your hands. But hopefully being able to see it done will answer some of the questions that people have. So, I got this color. I've been using it in this wig over here. It's kind of, um, it's actually a mix of a bunch of old mixed colors that I had. And, uh, I just kind of stuck them together to see what color they would make. They looked like about the right shade. And I've got this, which is great. It's for, uh, this tail flicking. It's for this beastie right here. Um, <laughs> but because they were old mixed colors, I actually have no idea how much of each color I actually put into it. So we're going to guess. Um, I've got some orange, of course. A little bit of yellow. I definitely see a little bit of this yellow in there. A little of this really light brown color. Uh, some white. I think this one's already mixed with a little bit of a uh, light blonde color too. So already mixed. And Alcon's auburn color, which is beautiful. And I think mostly that's what I'll need. So I'm going to start with this. I know I've got a little bit of the brown, so we'll take a bunch, just a little, and uh, just a hint of the yellow. This stuff is really bright, so you're going to see even just a little bit. Um, and we'll go ahead and take a little bit of this. Not sure about the orange yet, so we'll put that over there. We've got this, so you want to start by pulling on the ends. I've got a really tight grip with this hand uh, between my thumb and forefinger. And thumb and forefinger here, you're just going to pull, pull out, and put it right back, and repeat. So we'll do that a couple times. This white stuff is a little bit shorter than the rest. It's going to be harder to mix, so you want to pull on just that color and kind of pull it apart. And that'll help it mix with everything else. So uh, we'll go like this for a couple of pulls. So we get it reasonably mixed. <laughs> right now you can still see streaks of all the separate colors. Sometimes that's what you want. Sometimes you want a streaky mix. If you want to really be able to uh, see all the colors that you put into a new mix. Maybe make it look like it's got highlights or something. But that's not what we want. We want it, we don't want it to be uniform. Uh, we want a little bit of a rough mix, but we don't want it streaky. So, uh, I think I put too much white in here. This stuff just won't mix, so I'm just going to take that out. There's enough of you in there. Put that aside. Okay, that's looking okay. That's not too streaky at the moment. So we'll compare it to the existing color. This is the new one. This is the old one. Can you tell the difference? Eh, a little bit, but um, it's not so much of a difference that it's going to stop me from using this stuff. I think, oh wait, no, I found some yellow, so we'll do a little more mixing. Um, one thing that I found, I, one time, <laughs> I was making a couple wigs in a row, and I thought that I would get all the mixing work out of the way, because uh, while it's kind of neat to create your own colors, it does take a lot of time. So I went ahead and mixed like double batches of custom colors for two or three wigs all at once. And by the end, my fingers were numb, my pointed fingers, because you're putting so much pressure, or I put pressure, right there while I, while I mix this stuff and uh, caught up blood supply with my fingers. So not so great. If you feel tingly, just, you know, take a break, work on the wig for a while. You probably got enough. Okay, yeah. Um, this is a pretty good color. However, it I feel like it's a little bit dark um, for what I want. You can't see the difference so much, but this one's a little bit lighter. And I want it to be a little more orangey. So I'm going to separate this. Right now it's kind of a big chunk. And if I put any more wool in it, it'll be too hard to mix. You won't be able to mix all the way through the middle. You can already see that a little bit with this chunk. There's still yellow in the middle there. So we're just going to pull this in half. It's roughly mixed right now. And uh, we want a little bit of orange. And 
that's probably a little too much. Just a little bit. Just enough to get a little bit of the ginger tint. And then we want some more of this light brown. That'll lighten it up without having the streakiness of the white. So we're going to take one of these. Like I said, don't want to mix them both at once. That'll be too much. This is just about right. Right here. So we do our mixing. So mixing, mixing is great because it kind of retrains how you look at color rather than working from preconceived notions of what colors are supposed to look like. You really got to get down and dirty when you mix colors. You got to analyze what you've got and know where you want to go. And you know, sometimes it takes a couple tries to get the color you want. I've got a bunch of old mixed colors where I just kind of threw stuff together hoping I'd get the right thing. Uh, yeah, no, it didn't work out. <laughs> so I've got old mixed colors and sometimes I'm able to use those on a project. But usually, I just go ahead and remix. So it takes some practice, but after a while, you get a good idea of how to get the color you want. So, let's see, it's still a little darker than this one, but it's got more oranginess to it, which is great. That's absolutely what we want. It is pretty dark, though. Man, I don't want to... I don't want to mix anymore. Okay. Uh, we'll get some more of this stuff. Just a little bit. And uh, this one's going to be that same color. So we'll want to balance that out. Put a little bit more in there as well. For when we get to it. Okay. Mix that on in. This can be kind of a rough mix. Because we're pretty close at this point. So I'm not too worried about making it absolutely disappear. But uh, we definitely don't want too much streakiness. And uh, yeah, I'd say this is pretty close, probably as close as we'll get to the old color. And that's how you make scrape wool, my friends. Then you make your wig with a beastie. Yeah. Can you hear her? Oh. Come say hi. Come say hi. Hi. There we go. Oh, you're a sweetie. Oh, you're a sweetie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see that orange? That's. Oh, nope, she went away. Bring your head back. You see that orange on her face? That's what we made. Because we are awesome. Say bye bye, CDB. Bye bye, CCDB. Au revoir, mes amis.